So what is going on everybody my name is Mayhol and welcome to your fourth angular tutorial in which I'm gonna discuss about components and this decorator component in angular so angular has been using the ES7 syntax for decorators and uh, what that essentially means is that angular with the help of this component decorator provides extra information to the component what the component is and what it's going to do right so as i have told in my angular 2 video as well um, right here inside your component you have this selected tag which is app root which informs that this component is targeted on this tag right here right and uh, the template for this component would be this app.component.html and the style url is an array which consists of all the styles used by the component so basically what happens is that a component area and then let's just say you have a footer as well so you can pretty much distribute all of your website into different components right so every color is another component and uh, you can have components inside component and then finally what this is right here is your root component root component right so right now our app root is the root component of our application which consists of the full application and then further we can just split our application into different sort of components depending upon how our application should look so if you are kind of developing a blog template or something so it would probably look something like this only but uh, you know you get the idea how components are actually how you can map them to graphical interface right so more or less the components consist of what you see as individual on the screen and then if you take a look in the documentation in the metadata properties it says it tells us a lot of properties which we can have but currently we are having just three the selector template url and style urls which is enough for us to get started so you can see that we have this animations and i guess this one is new in angular 4 so we have animations change detection encapsulation and all that good stuff we're going to discuss later on in our application so again a component is nothing but a part of your web page which is uh, laid in your application right so what you can do is you can actually create components via command line as well so if I open command window here and start writing like ng space g component and then let's just say um, I want to create a header right and I hit enter now you can see that it says me that it has created header component css html typescript spec.typescript and typescript so what essentially a component consists of if we take a look in here is the css file which defines all the styles the html file like it says me header works which is the view and the TypeScript file, which is the logic of the file. So more or less, Angular is model view controller type of framework, where this is your TypeScript file is your file where all the logic in goes. Then this is your HTML file, which is your view file. And then finally, we have the CSS file, which is used for designing your component, right? So now you can see that we have pretty much two components the first one is our root component which is you can say this gray box right here and the second one is our header component which is uh, this orange box right here so that's how pretty much you create a component and that's what components are in angular so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one